Good afternoon stock stockers. Market yesterday closed with this solid green candle. Again today we are seeing a green session in the market. Let's quickly analyze the market index and check out some potential stocks. With that, let's start the video. If you are new to the channel, I highly recommend you to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post such videos. Also to support the channel, smash the like button. Yes, with today's green candle which is a dodgy candle, market did move to the upside in thin volumes we had around 2500 plus trades. Before we plan our trades, let us draw our support and resistance zone so we know how the market can react at these levels. Clearly we can see market was at this area, it did try to break, it could not, it took a bounce with this solid red candle, it broke the support. Support once broken will now act as a resistance. It did try to break here, it could not. Then with this solid green candle, it broke the resistance. Again, when it came back for a retest, we can clearly see market respecting the same area. This is the first bounce, second bounce and third bounce. At third bounce, we can see a solid decisive green candle. And with today's closing, market is indecisive, meaning market is not yet decided which way it want to go. Let us draw our resistance area now. This is the previous swing high, meaning market made a U-turn from this area and it went back straight at 2490 levels. This is a strong resistance, it have broken the previous support, meaning this is a supply zone. Now, how can market react? We have to plan our trades accordingly. Scenario number one is market can directly push to the upside and we can wait for a reaction at this level. Scenario number two is market can come back to retest this area and push to the upside. This both scenarios are positive, but we also have to plan a negative scenario. Negative scenario will be market can again come down to retest the dynamic support and resistance line that is 200 day exponential moving average, which also coincides with previous swing low. Let me mark this level as well right here. This was the previous lowest swing. We can expect the market to retest this levels as well. So this was the market index. Let's check out some potential stocks now. Union properties. As I always say, market does not move in one direction. It moves to the upside, comes back for a correction, again moves to the upside, comes back for a correction and then moves to the upside. Similarly, what we are seeing as of now is market moving to the upside. I did mention in my yesterday's analysis, this was the resistance area and this is the immediate resistance of Union property which is now probably acting as a support. Let me show you. Market was at this level, it pushed to the upside, it came back for a correction today, say around at 0.2669 level. Now it's good to move up. How do we enter the trade? I will still stick to the same plan. What we want to see is now right at the support level which was previously a resistance. We can clearly see market pushed to the downside, it consolidated here for at least 4 to 5 days. It tried to push up and then eventually it broke the support with this solid red candle. Meaning this area is very strong, this is a supply zone. Today fortunately market did not close below the support level, it has closed. It have closed right at the support that is 0.270. What I would like to see is a green candle, let it be a dodgy hammer or whatever. And my next target will be right here around 200 day exponential moving average, which I did mention in my previous analysis right here. This is the previous resistance zone. Your entry should be here at around 0.270. Your stop loss should be below this solid green candle, which is around 0.262. And your target is 0.283. GFH. Let me pinpoint something very important here. This was the previous closing and today's opening was with a gap up. When it gapped up, I'm sure plenty of traders must have bought this one thinking I will miss the trade. It might shoot to the upside. I will miss it. This is called FOMO fear of missing out. But like I always say, just wait for a right setup. Market cannot move to the upside in one go. It will push up and it will come back for a correction. This is the time where you have to enter the trade after a confirmation. Let's go back to our analysis. Now the market have already made a move to the downside. What we want to see is how it's reacting at the support level. This is the support level right here which is also coinciding with 200 day exponential moving average. This average acts as a dynamic support and resistance. I'm sure when it comes down for a retest right here, we will definitely see a reaction, a push to the upside. This is the resistance line it has been respecting since so many months. 
one tap, two tap, three tap, four tap, and now it's ready for a fifth tap. Yes, it's consolidating in a tight range as of now. Eventually, it will break out to the either side. If it breaks the trend line, we can definitely go along with a good quantity. If it breaks to the downside, obviously we are not taking the trade and we exit the positions if at all you are holding any trade. DR. Again the same thing, market open right at previous closing, meaning so many traders must be thinking let me enter the trade before it moves to the upside, I will miss the trade. FOMO takes it all. Now what happens is market always comes back for a retest as I keep mentioning. This is the support and resistance zone of the market. Previously we can see it took a bounce, again it came back for a retest second retest it broke the support previous support will now act as a resistance yes dr yesterday broke the resistance but guess what happens today you should wait for a correction a retest and then it will move to the upside how will i enter this trade i will clearly wait for a further downside let it come at this level show me any bullish signal and then i will enter the trade as i had mentioned my previous resistance or target will be in this range somewhere around 0.288 Damac properties. Very interesting guys, please listen to this very carefully. Yesterday's closing was with this solid green candle. Traders bought at this area when it opened with a gap down today must be in panic. They sold the stocks immediately booking the profits or the losses. It did try to retest the upper level got rejected. Now with this today's closing in red, this is a good example of breakout and retest. Let me draw the support and resistance zone so that you can understand. Right here. Previously, as we can see, this area was resistance, market got rejected, it spent few days, then it broke to the upside, it came back for a correction right at the support level, support was broken, again it was respecting, the market was respecting the same area, yesterday it broke this resistance, today it have come back for a retest. Wait patiently, let it make a small green candle here. Once it makes a green candle, you are good to enter the trade, your first target as I mentioned is 1.39. Second target is 1.47. If you can still hold the trade this long, your next target and final target is around 1.60. EMR properties. If you have missed my yesterday's analysis on EMR, I highly recommend you to watch it so that you can understand the concept clearly. I had mentioned this area is previous resistance and support area. It's very important area for the market. Previously, we can clearly see market was respecting these zones also here and also here. Today, what happened? It got rejected right at the previous resistance. We can clearly see a bearish hammer candle right here at the resistance zone, meaning market is not yet ready to push to the upside. There are sellers sitting in this area. What we want to see is a clear and indicative push to the upside. Let it come back for a retest, then you can respectively target 3.9, you can target 4 and your final target should be around 4.18. Wait patiently, you will get a good trade. Imar Malls, very similar concept again, yesterday's closing was here, it opened with a gap up, meaning so many buyers must have entered right here, immediately the market pushed to the downside, they must be in panic and they must have sold their positions, never rush for a trade, wait for a perfect setup that you want to see and then enter the trade, let me draw the support and resistance zone so we can plan the trade accordingly. This is the previous resistance and support area, we can clearly see market was rejecting this level so many times it did try to push to the upside it even opened with a gap up came back to retest took a bounce so this level is important today exactly at the same level we can see a red candle at the same time we can see some buying pressure at the bottom right here indicating their buyers sitting here how we want to trade wait patiently you will get a very good trade on this one as well let it cross the resistance area it will surely come back for the resistance. When you see a green candle here, enter your trade, you can have a final target till 1.98. Imar Developments. This stock is in a downtrend. Why do I say this? Clearly we can see it's making lower lows and lower highs. Also technically it's below 200 day exponential moving average. Where is our support area or resistance area? It's right here at this level. Previously we can see market respecting here, respecting here consolidation and a breakthrough now do we buy in a downtrend no we do not buy a stock in a downtrend we buy low and sell it high what we want to see is let the market cross the resistance area show us some bullishness and then we buy the trade right at this level and we go long as of now stay away from imar developments 
Air Arabia. As of now, it's consolidating in a range. This is the range of Air Arabia right here. What it's doing is it's just moving up and down, up and down. What we want to see a clear breakthrough to the upside. When it comes back for a retest and show us some bullish signals, we enter the trade. Till then, we wait patiently. Our target should be around 1.40. That's it, guys. I hope you like my analysis. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and keep stalking.